Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be discussing uh, something that gets talked about a lot, uh, kind of on the forums, uh, well, mainly on the forums, but other places as well, and it's the uh, pretty much, you know, concept of Bannerlord is dying, it's going down in player count, it's this, this, and that, like, the devs aren't doing a good job, like, it's a dead game, it's a, you know what I mean, like, all these type of things, and um, and they always try to compare them to um, other games that are currently out, you have Crusader Kings 3, uh, Total War Warhammer, you know, just games around there in that kind of like um, aspect, right? And uh, I'm going to show you guys some of the actual statistics of people playing and kind of how they uh, compare to Crusader Kings uh, 3, for example, and also Total War Warhammer 2, which if I'm not mistaken is the most popular uh, Total War game right now. But correct me if I am wrong. I just see a lot of YouTube videos on that uh, game all the time from the uh, major, you know, guys who up who upload strategy and stuff like that. But with that being said, let's look through it. Let's see what the data says and go from there. Alrighty. So uh, Bandler has been out. Let's just put it through here. Uh, since, I remember the exact date when it came out at this point. But as you can see, we had the initial buy-in, uh, all the people that bought it, and it was huge, obviously quarter of a million you know at its peak which is crazy and obviously it dipped this happens literally for all games okay it literally happens for all games you have a huge buy-in and it dips and obviously this is a long awaited game this is what this is what people like um like i was talking about earlier this is what people show they see this then they see let's say six months later they see this and they're like oh my god it's an absolute dead game this this and the third right but in all reality, I'll be really, real, real with you guys. Um, apart from let, let's say games that are um, always online or games that are always multiplayer, MMOs and that stuff like that, where people you know have an incentive to go on like daily this, this and that, they will current, they will not have drops like these, right? Players will stay. They'll still have a drop. Don't get me wrong. They'll still have a drop, but they won't have as significant drop as let's say a game that focuses mainly on single player like Bandalore does. Yes, it has a multiplayer, but the main focus is single player. But um so they will have a drop, but what I'm trying to show you is after it dropped to this amount around the 20k range, let's say 15 20k range, it stayed there. And what that shows you, let me go let's say let's go for a year, right? Past year. As you can see, it's been dipping up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down for the whole year. And what that shows you is you have a constant player base and now before everyone's like oh well, what's the crusader kings 3 here's the crusader kings 3 let's go to past year Let me refresh this we got year data right over here as you can see it dipped down then you had 20 20 20 16 36 19 18 15 16 very very close and similar you know what I mean? And this is what people compare it to. Like, oh, well, this game's not dead. This, this, and that. Now let's look at Total Warhammer. Uh, I mean, Total War Warhammer 2. This one is a little bit more, uh, what's it called? It's doing a little bit better. But it still has, what's it called? How can I explain it? It still has, like, that constant, constant player base. And whenever an update does come out, like, there was a big update that came out uh, this month. I forgot exactly what it was called. A lot more people tuned in. And if we look at To Bannerlord again... Whenever there is an update, as you can see, if we go by like six months or even three months, whenever there's new updates, as you can see, we have the peaks, the peaks, the peaks, the peaks. And then it goes down back to, the, you know, the group of people who play it very um, pretty much every day, right? And I know people are going to be like, oh my god, don't you see this little dip right here? Literally every game has it. As you can see, this little dip right here is because there was... um. I guess there was a problem with Steam where for one day it just went to zero and it messed up all the data, okay? So I don't want to hear nobody talking about that because it happened for every game. I think Steam was down or something like that. But with all this being said, it's not a dead game. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's not. It has its player base. It's The player base is sticking to it. Every time there's a new update, uh, it piques people's interest and it goes back up. It's, it's doing a normal game cycle is pretty much what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Like, it's very normal. And... Uh, it's going to be around. You know what I mean? By what I've seen, it's going to be around. But I'll do it for me. Ask me any questions and concerns. And like always, stay safe.